everyone because my channel today's video we're going to be doing the extreme rate ps4 version this is the shell as well as the replacement buttons they're the shadow red and the scarlet red accessories so we're going to get into it on how to install this so it comes with everything you need on both of the packages each of them retail for about 15 to 20 dollars which is typical on any accessory for controllers or console so here it is this is the shell and this right here is the little accessory pouch so it has a screwdriver to take out the screws as well as, well as a pry tool. Like I said I got the shadow red. I'll have links in the description if you decide to purchase. They have more available in the description as well, so go check them out. If you haven't seen my other videos about the Xbox Series S slash X version, you can go check those out also in my channel if you're new around here. Card looks really cool. Like uh, the screwdriver as well as some screws and a pry tool pry tool which you'll need for the sensor. Start with this, we're gonna move this to the side. Mainly need the screwdriver, but those are technically replacement screws if you need that. You have your BuildStock 4 controller. You're gonna remove the four screws in the back. There's only two on this one for some reason, but you're gonna move those four. Just push down on this part, it should be good. So just do it pretty delicately. I did it kind of hard, but this is already a broken controller. As you can see, the trigger fell out. The uh, ribbon cable, which is right here. So go ahead and just pull it out slowly. You're gonna disconnect the battery, which is right here, this red and black cable. So you're gonna go ahead and take that out. And then usually there'll be tape already on here, but it is not the best. So you can just, just easily take it out. There's a screw right here where the battery is. I don't know if you can see that. You're gonna go to take that out. It's just to hold the case. Then you can go take that out. So technically, you just have to take this ribbon cable out and then you can move it around. This is for the touch sensor right here on the top. Where this blue tab is, that's the only part you have to like apply pressure on. Don't touch the actual cable because it'll mess it up. But yeah, you can go to take it out now. All right, so I took it out. And then just be very gentle, like I said. Otherwise, you can't use the touch bar. All right, so we took it out. So you don't really need this part anymore. But you can move that to the side. You gotta transfer all of these. You do the buttons first, and then the silicone like gel covers. Say we're gonna do these ones. It doesn't have to be in a certain order because they don't have any logos on them. The controller, if it's not all the way in like that, then it's not correct. So you have to move it around. The bigger tab on this here, right here the bigger tab goes towards the controller so it should go in like this like that so now we have all of them connected now we can go ahead and take the gel coating if we want to and move it we'll do that after share button that just drops into place once again just drop it in pretty simple that's all the buttons that you really have to do for the faceplate you're going to take this and you go ahead and apply it back and just press down until there's four little dots up here as you can see it's one two three four that's how you know it's secured we're gonna do the d-pad same thing go and do the share button so that's basically it now we just have to transfer the little touch bar just push up right there and then just pops out and now we're gonna have to transfer the touch bar so we're gonna move this to the side it is not that sharp but it says it warns you that it is sharp so I guess be careful with it. So yeah, this part right here just lifts up and then there's no screws holding it. It's held by a lot of glue underneath. So you're gonna use the pry tool and just go from a corner and then like lift up. Since this one doesn't have that much gel anymore or glue, I should say, it lifts up easier. A lot harder the first time. So be very, very cautious when doing this. Take your time as well. Because you could break the motherboard and you don't want to do that. And get the new red part or whichever color you got. Align it the same way so you have to orient it the same way. From basically the chip to the left, the ribbon cable to the right. And then you go ahead and get the back piece. You're going to go ahead and feed this through that little hole right there. Push down lightly. All you got to do is go from under the controller like this. Make sure it hooks like that and then just drop it into place. Really simple. Get your controller. It's blue ribbon cable. Make sure that this is important. Feed this blue ribbon cable through this hole right here. 
right here, this hole. It's probably the most tedious part of this whole operation, but now you can go ahead and install it back. We're gonna go ahead and install it, so make sure you touch the plastic part, the blue part, don't touch the white part. There we go, just push it down on the blue plastic, not the ribbon. Now we can go ahead and install the triggers. You can do that before or after, however you wanna do it. Just make sure you put the plastic pins in the slot and then push down with the trigger and you're going to go ahead and hook it from the bottom and then up and then, then just click into place so now that you finish with the triggers now you have to do the reinstallation so you have to do the battery case first the holes aligned they just push down over the screw all right now we've got to put the battery in so make sure it's oriented the same way that you found it Make sure the red and black cables are on the same side as the power. This is pretty simple. It's like a Lego, so should be good. Harder part is the ribbon cable from here. It's like at a weird angle, but basically same thing. There's a blue plastic piece right there that you have to push down and then you just reconnect it like that. That should be good. And this plastic piece just goes underneath. Install the screws and you're good to go. So this is what it looks like, the finished product. All right, just got the thumbnail, but yeah, it adds nice texture. It's really soft. All the buttons work. And if you wanted to do these ones, you have to take off a piece of plastic, which you can do. You just have to modify it a bit. I'd have to cut plastic and I don't want to do that, but all the buttons basically work. The whole left side doesn't even work anyways, but the right side does work. The reason why this left side doesn't work is because the actual plastic from the controller, not from the, this product, from the actual controller is broken. That's why I did a modification on this controller because it's already broken. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, course, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you for watching.